गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स हाय इट्स शुभ्रजित हियर एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल या ऑब्वियसली सो एस यू कैन सी इट्स पिटी ऑफ मेस अराउंड हियर इट्स पिटी ऑफ मेस हैव सम हैव माय कैलकुलेटर हैव माय वॉच ओवर देयर एंड आई हैव सम ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स ओवर देयर एंड द ब्रेड बोर्ड बट इट्स does not look like a mess right so yeah this is what you guys are waiting for this is the circuit diagram of a electronic clap switch okay so before to learn that how to build a electronic clap switch you need to know that what is a clap switch as the name suggests an electronic clap switch is a kind of switch which generates some sort of pulse in the circuit that makes the uh, uh electronics instruments or some other stuffs to glow okay so what is this how this electronic pulses are generated we'll talk about that and uh, then main thing you the components that you are going to need is given below now we can see that all my components are connected according to the circuit diagram that i have given and uh, as you can see i have used so i'm going to quickly tell that how i'm going to have connected the all the components as you can see this is my ic555 timer this is where i have connected my ic555 timer okay and uh, this is the starting of the, the pin number 1 2 3 4 and pin number 5 6 7 8 8 okay so i have also given the pin diagram in my circuit diagram and as you can see that i have connected my pin number 1 to the to this trail which is my negative trail this trail is my negative trail and i have connected all the components accordingly okay so if you can see that how we can uh, how i have connected all the components so here i have connected my transistor i have given the transistor pin configuration as well and as you can see i have connected my pin number 4 and 8 together okay pin number 4 and pin number 8 together and from the uh, from this uh, pin number 6 and 7 also i have connected and uh, i have connected my base my base uh, base of the transistor with a 1 kilo ohm resistor to the positive trail and a 147 kilo ohm resistor so my mistake i have connected my collector with a 1 kilo ohm resistor with the positive trail and 147 kilo ohm resistor with the base terminal with this positive trail and i have connected my emitter to the uh, negative trail also i have connected one uh, 100 kilo ohm resistor between my pin number 7 and my pin number 8 this is the 100 kilo ohm resistor 100 kilo ohm resistor and i have connected 242 to 22 kilo ohm resistor to make my 47 kilo ohm resistor and uh, one uh, this is not necessary because i didn't have that and i made a uh, circuit within 10 minutes and this one is the actual 1 uh, kilo ohm resistor and this is on my condenser microphone is all the components are easy, easy to available it will cost around 60 rupees for you so value and this is on my 100 microfarad capacitor this is one of my 100 microfarad capacitor and uh, i have connected one diode uh, over here how i have connected my diode is that i have connected the pin number 3 with any point of the breadboard and i have connected my positive with the 330 
220 ohm resistor and then I have connected my negative with the negative trail and also I have left my pin number 5 as it is don't uh, confuse with the pin number 5 from the circuit diagram it's not a connection okay and my I have connected my 100 this uh, this capacitor this capacitor I have connected with the negative trail and uh, this uh, this is my so all the circuit diagram as I have explained now what I am going to talk about that how this works so I am quickly going to watch for the output okay so guys as you can see as my 100 microfarad capacitor is in the opposite side of the opposite trail of the breadboard so I have given a short connection between these two trails otherwise this won't work so guys right now I am going to check the output very quickly so if it's working or not I have made some of the modifications I have given it to this positive uh, trail I have made the positive trail and I have connected the capacitor with this one with this negative trail so guys as you can see the LED flashes it is in flashing okay so what is the uh, logic behind the LED flashing is that this is the uh, um, for how many how much time it will be t equals to 1 1 into r1 into c1 t equals to 1.1 into r1 into c1 that is the time period uh, t equals to because t is the time period and 1.1 is the factor and r and c are the resistance and capacitance you are using for the final that in this case you are using this uh, capacitance of 10 microfarad and uh, you are using one 220 ohm resistance from there you can calculate it right now i am going to tell you about something about this explanation of the circuit right now as you can see we are using an ic triple five timer and the from the circuit diagram you can easily understand that it's operating in a monostable mode so what happens i have connected my transistor with this circuit and uh, i am giving my i'm generating my pulses and i'm generating my voltage over here so what i'm doing actually whenever i'm giving some types of potential to this circuit but you are not generating any kind of clock pulse so this 0.7 volt cutoff is not actually achieved so you are not getting any output why is it not getting any output because this circuit is operating in, uh, in the monostable mode and we are not getting our uh, tr trigger pulses but whenever I am doing this this is actually what my trigger pulses or clock pulses is and as you can see the pin number 2 pin number 2 is connected with the pin number 2 as you can see the pin number 2 is connected with the base of the capacitor okay pin number 2 sorry pin number 2 is connected with the collector of the capacitor so this collector is actually uh, the transistor is actually connected in a common emitter mode and it will give you some sort of power gain so this power gain is actually connected with this condenser microphone the base of the uh, uh, transistor is connected with this condenser microphone and whenever I am generating this clock pulse this base of the uh, condenser microphone is giving some sort of extra potential to this circuit and we are getting our output that's what it's going on see this extra pulse we are giving and we are getting our output so in this way you can actually build your circuit it's a very easy circuit and it's a very effective circuit so you don't need to uh, buy several components and you can actually easily show a project you can also do it like this this case really sorry some sorts of problems and what I was telling you guys in some of my previous videos uh, many of you have asked me about that why the output is not coming and some sort of things let me tell you guys double check your connections double check your circuits it's all good it's all explainable if you want to learn the logic you can comment down below but don't get confused that it's not working or something like that all the circuits are working very finely and if you are not getting in the output you need to double check with your components also because some times the uh, components is having sort of problems because of the manufacturing defects so you guys need to be very careful about your components and uh, like the video if you like it and subscribe my channel to get some more cool project ideas in your future projects
थैंक यू